Hi, Christina. Happy Friday at McDowell. I've learned something. I went on a tour of all the studio. We went on a tour, a van tour of the studios. Uh, Blake, who's this wonderful older man who uh, delivers our baskets, did a bus tour. He knows everything. I don't, I've never seen someone just know so much about stuff. And I found out that the studio I'm staying in, Watson, not only did Meredith Monk and Aaron Copeland compose here, as well as other esteemed composers, but also Leonard Bernstein. He composed uh, Kaddish, apparently, for JFK's inauguration. You know, and what am I doing in this space? I'm trying to write a show about cat pee, you know. Also genius and brilliant. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll perform my cat pee show for, for uh, Obama's next inauguration. Inaugura uh, Obama's next inauguration. Anyway, um, so I, uh, my friend Antonia sent me this documentary she made many years ago called Pup. That's not a, that's not a penis. That's a, I don't know, it's some kind of, it's a, it's a human, it's like a bone. Not a boner, just a bone. And this is about two leather men uh, who are Christian, and they're competing in an international puppy contest. There's these, this, I guess this whole subculture where people act like puppies, and other people act like their masters. Yeah, people spend time doing that. People spend time writing shows about cat peas. Isn't it great? Um, it was a very interesting documentary. You can read more about it at puppumentary.com. I have a hard time watching leather people going at it for long amounts of time. And they're not even having sex. They're just like acting puppy-like. And, and I don't know. I grew up in San Francisco, and you'd think that, you know, leather people, it's just like, you know, hi, neighbor. You know, but it's I, I just like watching people sub and dom and I, I think it's because the leather itself seems so gets so sweaty anyway so um so as i said leonard bernstein composed here and uh so what what am i composing i'm composing poetry as as i said in my last video blog i am um i went introspective in my work suddenly and and i'm turning a big sap but I'm writing this poem called The Mother Teresa of Pussy, which is appropriate for this cat lady show. And it's kind of about, um, it's all fictional. Okay, it's all fictional. And it's, <laughs> it's, it's, about, it's about being the Mother Teresa of Pussy. I'm going to read some of it to you. I, you, can, you can judge me secretly. Um, oh, come all ye horny, joyless and so desperate. One thrust wonders limp dicks bipolar manic depressives. Child support payments, alimony, car repossessed. I can pick you up within a 50 mile radius of my heart and tip you at the end of the ride. Forgot to pick up your wallet? Oops, forgot to bring your wallet permanently? Hell, I'll give you my car. I'll pay the mechanic. Come back when the car is ready again for you to drive into the ground. I'm going to skip this section because it gets personal. Uh, this, uh, this line I like a lot. I ask you to take me around the world. You asked me to go Dutch. Isn't that clever? I did this all from, like, my imagination. It was Mother Teresa of Pussy Poem. Mm -hmm. Imagination is amazing. Um, so what else? So I have to tell you, the food is uh, making me into a human choo-choo train. That's one thing about McDonald's. I love the food. I've, woo. That food just like lets wants to let you know afterwards. Just hey, I'm still here. Toot toot. And um, getting used to the the dryness in the air. And I'm really sad that I have to return to the real world soon. And and I can't just like get my meals cooked by like putting my name on a piece of paper and checking off things I want. Like that's, I'm so not gonna do well. And I gotta go get a haircut. So one of the writers said that that she would cut my hair for me but that's how cute it looks right now so um all right I'm gonna go back to writing this brilliant piece I'm gonna be channeling Leonard Bernstein as I write oh I'm gonna show you where my my show is at I haven't even showed you this is a uh, all that all those note cards behind me that's the show so let's just hope that all this brilliance comes together into a, a lovely piece thank you for watching